What's up, YouTube? Got another video for y'all here. Show y'all the Avalon, like I was telling y'all in the other video. Um, show y'all some of the things I've got done to this in the past few months. Um, everything I can remember off the top of my head, going from the most recent all the way back. Most recent is, like I said before, new AC compressor in there. Put a brand new AC compressor in. Uh, put fog lights on here. Got some from a junkyard, a U-Pool yard actually near me. Got them for, I think, $10 a piece. And got them all on this fuse block right here. Well, that's for all the HID ballots because there's HIDs in each spot. I'm going to show you all the fog lights real quick. All right, guys, there's the fog lights. They're on. They're wired in with a relay off the park lights. But uh, I'm going to turn the lights on so you can see how they look all together. Headlights are on now. These are new headlights, by the way, too. Um, I put these on a couple months ago, but I forget exactly when. But see, they're all 10K, the deep blue HIDs. Um, they're actually kind of like really bright at nighttime with both the fog lights and the low beams on. So she likes it. I like it. Um, other things I did, did do big three on here. Um, I am going to be running zero gauge to the back eventually. Uh, things I have to do to this car. New rear valve cover with a new PCV valve because... This one has a, uh, I replaced the PCV valve, but part of the old one broke in there. So I'm just going to opt out. I went to the junkyard the same day I got the fog lights. I pulled a valve cover off of one of these and I basically, I'm cleaning it up as much as I can. Then I'm going to put it on with a brand new PCV valve and that should help, uh, stop burning the oil as much as it can on this car. And if that doesn't do it, I'm just going to run an oil catch can on here. And that should make it a lot better. But I'm um, going to be switching this battery out with an AGM soon. This is There's nothing wrong with this battery. Just want to get AGM for here. And then there's going to be AGMs in the trunk. There aren't none yet. And I'm going to be getting a high output alternator for this. That alternator is starting to go a little bit. I do got a new power steering pump for this. Um, here's that Pioneer deck I was telling y'all about. This, uh, it's one of the ones that you can get at Walmart. It's the, here's the model number, DMH100BT. It, um, it's actually great. It's been running very fine in here since I put it in. Put it in about a month or two ago. Um, I was going through a hassle. I was trying to put an Android radio in here, but the company I ordered them from, I ordered two of them from there, and neither one of them worked, so I had to send them back. I got my money back and all of that, and then that's when I just went and bought this from Walmart. But uh, will I try it again? Maybe, yeah, I'll probably try a higher quality, higher brand one. Maybe Enon or Join, whatever one I could find for this car, because I want to add GPS and all that, because... I do still have the GPS antenna in here and the mic in here for that, but they're not wired up to this because this doesn't have none of that functionality. But um, yeah, let me show y'all in the trunk. I got the down for sound JP8. That's actually what it is. JP8 on the two. SDR D2 12s. Also got this. Uh, what is this? The base machine. I put this in here. I bought this like way earlier this year and put this in here. Um, it actually makes this. This is actually decent quality. I only paid like $35. I'll link that down in the description. It actually makes the base actually sound real nice. Um, I am going to be taking this box out and probably cleaning it up a bit, strengthening it. Uh, there's, it's not vibrating apart or none of that, but just to do all of that and then actually paint it or carpet it, whatever she wants to do with it, and we'll put it back in here. And we're probably going to upgrade the subs because I built this box with a decent amount of flexibility upgrading subs wise. So she can go with different brand. You can go with a little bit bigger sub or smaller uh, wattage wise or however that goes. But 
yeah, gonna be doing that to this box. I also got some more speakers and tweeters from out of the Impala that I'm gonna put in here. Um, that Crunch 4 channel that I had in there, I had that sitting on my uh, cart right now. That's gonna go in here. That's sitting on my tool cart in there. I'll be putting that in here in probably a month or so. Whenever I get all the wires and stuff for it and the extra battery for back here. And also upgrading the alternator too first. But uh, I'm gonna give y'all a little demo of it real quick. Gotta get a new backup camera. The base destroyed that. The base is also taking a toll, a good decent toll on the car. The body's starting to split over here. I'll see if I could put some music on. I'm gonna put a, a, like a decaf song going. But then first I'm gonna put a song going by two of my brothers. Go by Zill and Melvin. I'm gonna put that on called London Tip In. I'm gonna put that on here in a second. But uh, yeah, we're gonna see what this demo is in for. All right, y'all about to give y'all the demo. Here's the name of that song I was just telling y'all about right there. Shout out to my bro, Zeal. But about to play the music, and we about to see how it sound. She wish I loved it today, yeah. She wanna throw it back. music and we're gonna see what this thing can really can do. Get up, bitch. Here we Get go up, right here. Bitch. Get up, shit. up the middle of the seat over here let some of that air out put music videos and play on almost any head unit as long as it's DI 
VX compatible, which most head units, I want to say a good about 80% of them are. Most head units can do it. Some head units can't. Some that I can name off the top of my head. I know some, uh, the dual brand. It's, it definitely doesn't work on the dual brand because for some reason they're not DIVX compatible. And if y'all don't know what brand that is, that's like a Walmart brand. But, um, yeah, that's not about the only brand I can think of that actually can't do this method. I haven't been able to find a method that works on those yet. But whenever I do... Hopefully, I'll be able to make a video on it. But um, I'll show y'all how to do it on most head units. Pioneer, Sony, Kicker, Kenwood. Uh, even unbranded and generic. Power Acoustic, Soundstream, Chinese brands, all that. It should work on almost every head unit. But uh, let's get straight into it. Now, I am going to show y'all that it does work on both the cars. Because I got the Avalon here. And got the infinity over there so i'm going to show y'all that it works in both cars both formats but i'm going to show y'all everything you're going to need and everything is actually free so uh stay tuned first thing you won't want to get is actually you can either get a usb or if your head unit takes sd cards it will work for that too so usb or sd card this head unit takes USB and SD card, but for some reason the SD card slot is messed up. They don't sit in there correctly, so it always just pops out. So, But we're going to do it with a USB today. Also, make sure your USB is compatible with your head unit. Some head units have some like dumb requirements for USBs. It has to be a certain amount of space. Can't be over a certain amount of space. Some of them had to be formatted a certain way, but uh, most head units, you can just go to the store, grab one, and it should work straight out of the, the plastic. But get you a USB, and I'm about to go over to the PC. Y'all want to see what we need to do. All right, y'all. I'm going to have to just show y'all the video this way. The screen recording software I did have on here, it's like not getting the correct frame rate, so it's like making a video choppy, but... I'm on my Windows tablet PC right now, but I'm about to show y'all what y'all need to do. So, um, first thing y'all gonna want to do is download this program. I'm about to show y'all real quick. DIVX Converter. Definitely want to download that. I'll have the link down in the description. I'll show y'all the uh, website. Matter of fact, I'll see if I can show y'all the website right now real quick. DIVX Converter. And you want to click on the first link. And you basically want to just hit this download Windows button. And I can't go through the, uh, the setup process with y'all because I have it already uh, set up on here. But if your computer is smart, it's literally really, really easy. All you just got to do is keep pressing OK, continue and all of that. And make sure during the installation process, you definitely want to click, make sure you install the DIVX converter. Definitely want to install that in the player. But after you download that, have all of that installed, next you want to go over to, um, or first you want to open up this website right here. This will be linked down in the description as well. You want to download, or not download, you want to just go to this website, have it open, then go over to YouTube. Just for this, ooh, I think I just moved the tab. Hold on. I don't know how I get it back over here. Oh well. But um, what you want to do is just go on YouTube. For the purpose of this video, I'm only going to use one of my YouTube videos. And like I said, this is for educational purposes. Um, you do what you want with this information. You get in trouble. That's on you. So I'm going to use one of my YouTube videos and what you want to do up here is click on it and you want to copy the link and when you copy the link go back over here to the website I told you to go to you want to put hit mp4 first and then put in your link right here so I'm going to put in my link you want to press download mp4 now another website might open up all you gotta do is just press close but then if you open up your downloads it's downloaded but i already downloaded this so i'm going to stop this download and next i'm about to show what we need to do next all right y'all so 
once y'all downloaded your video of choice, you want to open up the DIVX converter. I already have it open, so I'm just actually going to click down it down here on the taskbar right here. All right, once this is open, the first thing you want to do before you do anything after you set up the program and all that, you want to press this and you want to look for DIVX mobile. I'm going to find it and I'm going to show you what it looks like. All right, guys, I found it. You want to find this one right here, DIVX mobile. It converts the files to that resolution right there so that way they'll be able to be played on the head unit. So you want to press DIVX mobile. Once that's chosen, that's basically going to be the uh, way it's going to convert the files. It's going to convert it to a mobile video file to be able to be read on that type of stuff. So then you want to click add file, open file. And wherever you saved your file at, mine will be in the downloads. Or Hold on, I'm going to find out where it's at real quick. Alright guys, and before I continue on, I want to say, sorry if y'all hear me sniffling a lot. I'm outside, my allergies are going crazy right now. Nose is stuffed up and all of that, but you want to locate it where, you're, uh, where you downloaded your video at. You basically want to drag it, you want to click on it. Then you want to drag it over, you want to drop it. It's going to start analyzing, and it should pop up on the list down here in a second. I'm going to minimize that. If this comes up, just choose yes. Alright, it looks like it's downloading some DIVX codec. So whenever that's done, I'm gonna show y'all what to do after that. Alright, y'all, that's it. Um, it got done downloading and all that. But there is gonna be another pop-up that's gonna come up. You wanna choose yes on that pop-up as well. But y'all see the videos right there. And all you wanna do is press it. Now you can convert multiple files at once. But it will take a little bit longer to convert everything. But if you want to download a whole list of videos and convert them all at once, it is possible to do that. Just keep dragging and dropping more as, as much as you want on here. Just keep in mind it will take a little bit longer because it's trying to convert a lot of videos at once. But after that, you want to just press the start button. And it's going to say preparing. Pop up again. Just choose yes. It's preparing and then you basically just want to let it get through this process so I'm going to let y'all see whenever the process is done All right, I wanted to show y'all it is started it's converting that's the time it says it's going to take that's the percentage that's done so far so when this is done and over with I'm gonna show y'all what to do next after that real quick while that's done that I'm gonna show y'all some things y'all can do a while while that is basically creating basically it help y'all get a step hit now you can skip this part if you're not a person that likes to keep your videos and all of that in order and like like to keep your video files separate from your music files and all of that but all you want to do for real for real is just take right click i'm on a tablet so i had to tap and hold the screen for a right click and just press new and then folder and then just name your folder i'm just gonna call it music videos Shout out to the person that got the beats. I hear you, my boy. But don't put music. Vids. Music vids. Enter. And just have a folder and then I'll have it open. And whenever this is done, converting down here. That's about how much it's done. We're gonna click on it says about 30 seconds so I'll see y'all in 30 seconds once this is done I'm gonna show you what y'all need to do next all right once this is once this pops up on the screen that means it's finished and it'll tell you like I say you could do multiple files so you see one out of fun files was successfully converted after that you want to press open folder so that way you can see where it's at and the folder should open Hold on, I'm gonna find it. Should be in documents. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna find it real quick. All right, there we go, I found it. It's right here, it's gonna be in your, it's automatically on default to your videos folder, then DIVX movies, and then right here, that's where the, basically, the first video I converted. So all you wanna do is, 
I'm gonna open these up together. Slide this over here and have this one open. And all you wanna do is basically just take and drag and drop the video. And put it in the folder. And should be there. Yep, there it is right there. Now I'm gonna go put it in the car and show y'all what y'all need to do. All right, y'all, we in the car now. About to put the USB in. About to start the car. Turn the AC off. Let the radio boot up. Oh, it already says USB loading. And basically just want to go out. Music vids. And then you basically just want to go through here and scroll through and select. Now, most head units, you might have to choose video first before you go to this. You have to choose video and not music because it won't show up because it's going to look for music files. You want to choose video and then go look for wherever you put your, um, your video at, basically. But you see it's right there. And all you got to do is just press play. Now... If the video doesn't play and you go on your head unit and it's asking you to put the e-brake on and all of that, you might want to see if you can find a way, if there's a way to bypass it. I know with most um, head units, the easiest way to um, bypass it is just to tie the brake with the ground wire and it'll bypass it and you can easily just watch videos. Now, you're not supposed to do that so against the law, so I'm not telling you to do that. Like I said, this is for educational purposes. But um, I have my setup like that. And if you have a Pioneer radio, you can either option out to buy the little module for like 11 bucks or something like that. Or you can just hook up a toggle switch and you just have to turn it on, off, and then back on and it should work. Any other radio, I'm not too sure about. But I know with most of them, like I said, just tie a parking brake and the ground together and it should work. But after that, just choose the video. It should come on. As y'all see right here. It's playing. I'm going to turn the music up or the volume up, and I'm gonna explain why I haven't been recording. But uh, right. first, there go right got here. this push button start kit that I'm gonna be putting on here. Y'all um, see it's working right here. I here. actually I cannot recording. show you on the Pioneer and the um and the Avalon right now because I do not have a toggle switch hooked up for the um for the brake. And like I said before, you have to turn the ground on turn it off and then turn it back on basically because those radios basically need a double pulse and basically know that you're in park and not driving while watching videos but like i said you do this method the exact way i said it it should work and like i said it's decent quality but you shouldn't be watching videos as you're driving anyway so it's nice to have something there in the background that's playing as you're driving but um you do the same step with music videos and it'll work perfectly fine but um, I'll see y'all in the next video.